All right, guys, we are back with another video. Today, I'm going over how to fix Solo Showdown. We all know about the teamers, how awful they are. I was losing hundreds of trophies, but now let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we all know teamers. They spin, they team up, and they kill you unfairly because they outnumber you in a game where they shouldn't. I was losing hundreds and hundreds of trophies and I even saw reddit threads complaining about this and people boycotting solo showdown and you know it's annoying you know and there's the old saying if you can't beat them join them and you really have to at some point because there isn't anything else to do really. you know and some people instead of teaming they hide in a bush the whole game and then come out when there's four people left and that's a little better, I guess, but that's not really how you're supposed to play the mode either. It's supposed to be people fighting, shooting at each other, seeing who can survive, and it's cool. It's not eight people against two, or it's not three people out in the open fighting and everyone else hiding, or whatever. So, you know, this is my favorite mode to play in Brawl Stars. Don't think I'm just hating on it, but there are a lot of problems with it, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix them. So... At Solo Showdown, it's just become teaming until the gas... Oh, at higher ranks, sorry. So let's say, I'm not sure, 700 plus or 800 plus. There was a point where nearly every single person in the Solo Showdown lobby will team, which means nobody's fighting anyone and nobody wants to start fighting because then they'll probably get targeted by everyone else for breaking the peace. So everyone is just being right next to each other, spinning lots of hearts and check marks and yada yada. And then once that gas starts coming in, in the final 10 seconds, everything pops off and there's only one person left after it all. So what you try to do is, you know, do anything you can to survive there. Some people, they go, they, you know, they run into the gas just to try to stay alive longer instead of actually fighting people and it is a good strategy in this you know mode to just wait till all the gas comes in and then if you're a tank like El Primo with eight or nine thousand health and then you just run into the gas and take ten thousand or take a thousand damage a second instead of fighting a Primo that would deal you know two or three or more thousand damage a second. So I understand why they do it but it's just reinforcing the problem more or less. And you know, when I first started Brawl Stars years ago, I played it for a couple years and then I took a couple years off and I've been back playing it for a few years. And you know, to me, Solo Showdown was so cool. I sped it up a bit here because I'm just sitting in the bush like everyone else. Fun gameplay. But um, when I first started playing Solo Showdown, it was so cool. Ten people, they come in, they fight. You know, it was almost like Hunger Games, and they had cool abilities and supers and gadgets. And wow, it was so complex and cool and unique, and it was like League of Legends, but the games didn't take an hour, and it was just a lot of fun and really cool. And it still is, but once you get to that higher trophy range, it becomes a lot less fun, or at least a different kind of fun, assuming you do enjoy that. And here I should have killed this crow easily, but I let him do way too much damage to me. But anyways, now there's all the people teaming and running to, into the gas at the higher trophy range. And you know, even at the 500 trophy range, there's still people teaming. And even at the one in 200 range, there's still people teaming because there's people who unlock new characters and then start teaming. And it's just a whole problem. Luckily, I got the crow, but that was way closer than it should have been. Holy moly. Okay, so the problem is people team up, or they sit in the bush, or they wait for the gas to run, and they don't even fight. It's There's a, there's a few different problems. Now, how do we fix it, okay? I asked a few different people who play. I read a few different Reddits. I've been trying to really think about it. And, you know, uh, some people said the decaying health, so people can't just sit in a bush and camp and... Uh, you know, much like the mode that was here recently and here a couple years ago, Graveyard Shift, where essentially everyone in the game is constantly losing a little bit of health, and then every time you deal damage, you get healed um, quite a bit. So this actually seemed quite cool in that everyone was kind of walking around and fighting, because if you did just wait in the bush, you would just die and lose unless everyone else died before you. So 
you know, it in terms of a concept, it was really cool because it was a nice way to keep it engaging and interesting and you didn't want to like go all in, but if you did, oh, and if you killed someone, you healed to full health, forgot to mention that. So there were, you know, quite a few different cool plays. You could have a Brock jump in on someone, try and kill them and heal, or you could have someone with like, um, like let's say if Chester had his bomb super, and he had, you know, a couple hundred health left. And he was about to die in a couple seconds from decay. He just throws that bomb. And if he were to hit someone and kill them, he would heal to full. Anyways, there's a million scenarios, but there were a lot of cool possibilities with this mode. But quickly, people realized how good throwers were because especially Tick, Grom as well. But they noticed because of his long range and his spread of projectiles, that it was kind of easy for him to hit someone at least once, allowing him to heal. And the problem was that these ticks would just spam. And even if an Edgar jumped on them, they had that gadget with the knockback and the shield, which essentially counters Edgar. Here you can see I was trying to team up, but got taken out, unfortunately. Uh, and even if an Edgar jumps on the tick, the tick can probably kill him playing the wall, his gadget, and his bombs, and especially if he has a super. And, you know, I even played a few games where the entire 10 players in that match were all playing tick. And they all team up, and then it becomes just like the original thing again with them all teaming and waiting until the gas comes in or slowly betraying each other. And so, while the decaying health, the graveyard shift, game mode was a really cool concept it was mostly throwers there were a couple you know piper players or byron players a couple of different ones here or there but it was mostly throwers so that game mode quickly became play tick or don't play or play you know maybe grom or sprout and you know so that didn't work i actually remember years ago this was before i quit playing so this was I don't know, like a long time ago, four or five years ago. And I remember this was happening in Solo Showdown. And there was actually an entire like anti-spin movement. And all the pro players, everyone on the top of the leaderboards, and even just the people in my club and myself included, we all changed our profile picture. I forget to what it was, but it was all the same profile picture and it kind of signified the anti-teaming movement and meant that you stood against teaming and it did kind of work for a while because when people tried to team people would start targeting them for trying to team and it was nice i'm not sure what started it it must have been some youtubers or something but it worked really well for a very short period of time and then people slowly changed their profile pictures and just went back to the old ways of teaming but that was a nice little spot for a little bit there now, they did release Solo Showdown Plus, which I think was literally Supercell's way of trying to combat teaming. And it definitely helped. I'll give it that. So what it did was it worked by incentivizing kills because if you got kills, you got additional trophies at the end of the map, uh, match, sorry. But the problem was, it was good, people weren't teaming because they were going for kills and it was good and then slowly people started to team and then, you know, if you start a match and teamers chase you and you die instantly and then, you know, you lose a ton of trophies and it's the same problem as regular showdown. But the one nice thing was that if you did um, some decent damage to one of the teamers, it was likely that the other teamers would kill that half health teamer because it would just give them extra trophies and it was just an easy free kill. So it definitely did have some good anti-teaming components, but ultimately people just started teaming and it was more or less just becoming normal solo showdown again. There was definitely a lot less teaming and the teaming was at even higher trophy range, but it was definitely still there. So after all that, the real truth is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to fix solo, solo showdown. Because if you did do the decaying health with a 
without the healing, right? Because if you didn't heal from dealing damage, then throwers probably wouldn't be as good because they could do decent damage, but they would die quick enough because they don't have a large health pool. But then I think it would just kind of break down into people just choosing high health tanks and just sitting in a bush and hoping just because of their high health, they can live longer than others. And mathematically they would, unless those others hurt them. So then instead of teaming, it would just probably be a lot of hiding tanks and a couple people trying to find them and hunt them down. But then the tanks, you know, let's say Daryl was hiding in a bush all game and then you got close enough to him, he'd probably roll on you and take you out. So I'm not sure if that's really the right answer, but. I mean, you've been watching these games. It's a lot of sitting in a bush. It's a lot of teaming and, you know, it still is a fun game and it's still, even if all 10 people make it to the final, you know, moment where the gas closes in, it is still fun to try and survive and play that, but it feels like you're playing the game mode wrong. And it is still fun and I do still do it because I enjoy this game, but it would be great to get it back somehow to that original version where people are just fighting against each other normally and it is a free-for-all and you know it's more or less fair because there aren't people teaming up here i go for the long range double stun after waiting out the gas and i did wait it out till third instead of fourth but i got third there but you guys i hope you know this inspired you to think a little and let me know if you have any suggestions i'm not sure how to fix it but i do still love brawl stars and i will still make content and it is still one of my favorite games if not my favorite anyways i love you guys i hope you continue supporting me and enjoy the video and subscribe if you haven't take care i love you guys